Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about getting started with the UNO Toolkit Library. So the UNO Toolkit Library is available to you and it comes with a packet of, um, of uh, helpers, extensions, and controls that are not available to you out of the box from the WinUI APIs. So you have really cool things like uh, cards, uh, navigation bars, uh, tab bars, as well as some really great uh, extensions and helpers to build your application. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do in your application is make sure in your NuGet packages that you have the UNO Toolkit WinUI package installed. And so you're going to want to make sure that's installed uh, in all your platform heads right here. Then you can jump over to your app resources.xaml. And the most important line that we're looking at here is this toolkit resources line within your merge dictionaries. You need to include that in order to be able to load up all the styles, the resources, the, the helpers, and all that coming from uh, UNO Toolkit. And so then we can do something cool, like jump over to our main page, and you'll see that we have the UNO Toolkit UI uh, namespace included, and we can use nice things like the safe area, for example, as one of the helpers that are available to you within Toolkit to have this nice visual effect where we are not being obscured by the notch here, and we have a nice spacing between our grid and uh, our content. So. That is the UNO Toolkit base library. Now, as I said, UNO Toolkit comes with a packet of controls available to you. And those controls out of the box are sort of lookless. And so we provide a material toolkit library that sits on top of the UNO Toolkit that provides a set of material styles. So you can have consistent uh, styling of your application, whether you're using controls coming from the UNO base library or from UNO material or UNO Toolkit. So in order to do that, we need to make some changes to our application. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch branches here uh, to one that already has Material Toolkit installed. And you'll notice a few differences right out of the box. We have now the UNO Toolkit WinUI Material NuGet package installed instead of the UNO Toolkit WinUI package. This Material package already includes the Toolkit, the base Toolkit WinUI package itself. So you do not have to have both installed. Next up, we have uh, changes in our app resources.xaml. And you'll see now that UNO Toolkit uh, uh, line that we had before is gone. And we now have this material toolkit theme initialization in our, in our merge dictionaries coming from this UNO Toolkit UI material namespace instead. This bootstraps both the toolkit resources that we had before and the new styles and resources coming from the material uh, library for these toolkit controls. And so out of the box, uh, you'll now have uh, some nice things that you can do um, with the UNO Toolkit material library, like have this navigation bar here and have it styled in the, in the material way and have a material styled navigation bar. And you'll see that made some changes to the main page. And so we're actually using the uh, UNO Toolkit navigation bar. And you'll see that it has a nice um, material style applied to it right you can't see too much here but when i click here you'll see you'll have the nice ripple uh, and that all comes to you from the material styles within toolkit for the toolkits navigation bar so that's uno toolkit that's getting started with the base toolkit library that's the material toolkit library um, go ahead check out the documentation play around with it uh, i hope you learned something and i'll catch you in the next one